Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. In this lecture, we are going to uh, introduce the descriptive statistic for a random variable, including the mean, the standard deviation, or the variance. Okay, and they already learned this for example, right? But this time you learn different. You learn for the random variable. You will see what the difference between them. Okay, so here the definition. What is the mean? Uh, mean is the average, right? Or we call the expected value. Another way called the expected value, because that's the most easy to happen. Okay, but look at what is uh, the notation for mean. This time is not a use like a spa. Remember, I will show you what the difference later. We use mu to describe the mean of a random variable, and here some these are the summations add them together, right? How to do? So if we have a if we have a table or distribution table, probability distribution table, you find the x the value times the chance or the probability. Another x times the probability, another x times probability, and then add all together. Okay. So we simply say the sum of all the products. Okay. This tells you what they are the center or the kind of average. The second is then the deviation. We see c gamma. This we call the c gamma. And this is the square root of the summation of the sum. And what the sum? And the steer x, x is the data, right? Mu is the mean. And the distance, the square of the distance x to the mean. It's very similar with the definition. For example, we did it before. You take the data to compare. Okay? And then times the probability. Okay? If we find all to summation, take a square root. And uh, what the standard deviation tells you, tells you how spread of your data, of your, this time is not your data, it's your r random variable, or your x, okay? Or sometimes we also say, this tells you the kind of distribution, the spread, of the spread of the distribution, okay? And also, that tells you variant, okay? The bigger the standard deviation, the more variant that you have, right? Or the more spread out your data, or your, your, your distribution is. What is the third or the variance? It's the same, okay? Variance is the square of the standard deviation. Okay, standard deviation. Uh, so we square off, uh, we just cancel the square root. And uh, the variance uh, is the same, it tells you how variant of your random variable. Okay, and uh, don't worry about the formula, a lot of calculation, right? So we do have a, a function in calculator to do is a steer one variable statistics okay so one variable stats uh, I just show you one difference between the Zembo mean the Zembo standard deviation the Zembo variance we learned before so remember if X is based on data if X is data do you remember and the origin we say X1 the first data X2 X3 right so that's the, all the data numbers if you based on your data and the average or the mean, we call the x bar. We use x bar to describe, and the s is the sample standard deviation. Remember, in bound variables, that's we use this s x, right? Okay, and the, what the x or the s square is the sample variance. So this time we do what? We do random variable. Random variable is a population. Okay, so someone you also can say if you see the difference, this is for population. I'll simply say uh, this is all for population. So you want to tell the difference is uh, this is the population mean, the population standard deviation or the population variance. See the notation also different. The 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 mean the population means use mu, population standard deviation use sigma, population standard uh, uh, variance we use sigma square. Okay, that's all the difference. And the, the major one focus, okay, so I was going to show you how to use this in the calculator. And also I will show you one example, how to find uh, the mean and use a basic definition there. Okay, here is the example. So I was going to let's look at uh, the question first. So the question is flip a, a coin, so the flip a coin, okay, this coin is a fair coin, keep in mind. So we have a good distribution. So twice count that the number of the heads is the same questions, right? The la the the last uh, videos we did. So I put here the results here. Okay, 
because we already know from the last one, I just build the probability distribution here. I guess is the number of heads in two times. So I guess could be possibly be zero or one, one head or at the most the two heads, right? And the probability is point twenty five percentage, fifty percent get the one twenty five. Remember I also draw the you the histogram for you. You can see, right? The middle one is the highest, okay? Both is a little bit lower. It's a symmetric distributed. Let me look at uh, we use a definition, okay? So first we use definition. How do you find the mean? <clears throat> uh, remember the mean we also call the in another textbook they also call the expected the value. So you know they are the same. Expected the value. Okay. Or the average. What is the mu? I will go and define the mu use the definition. So what the definition is a sigma, right? The value times the probability. This is the value, this is the probability. And then add all together. See? How many? How many value? One, two, three. So we have one, two, three product. Add all the three product together is the summation. So the first is a zero, right? And then times the probability corresponding, okay? 0 0.25. And then plus the second value, one times the probability corresponding probability 0 0.5. And then plus another value, the last value, two times the probability corresponding to probability 0.25. Okay, so this is the definition. And then you do calculation, how many you will get? So this is 0, 0.5, 0 0.5 is a 1, see? Okay, you will get a, this exactly equals 1, okay? That's a front definition. Okay, the definition for standard, devi standard deviation or the variance I will not go into, okay? A little bit more calculation. If you like it, you can go into try. But the, the major one I was going to show you how to use a calculator. Okay, one variable that I will directly find that the mean, the population mean, standard deviation, and the uh, variance is later. Can we see? So here is a little summary. So we can use that definitely. One variable, one variable that if someone remember how to use that. So the first step is input the data. The second step is do calculation. So how do you input the data? So this time I don't just input the x, okay? Because we have a probability. The probability, remember the histogram distribution looks like the histogram, right? Relative frequency. This we also can put this as a frequency. I mean the word x is the single data put the two L one, and the p x we see as a frequency put the two L two. The first column and the second column, then going to statistic, okay, going to step, and then going to calculation, and then to find the one variable stats, and then L1, L2. Don't miss both, okay? Both you have to use. Um, I I'm going to show you how to find in the calculator. So, so here is the, my calculator. We're going to. Can you see that's a Texas instrument 83? If you have 80, 84, it's very similar. Okay, it's very similar. So, what you do? The first step, input the data, right? What is our data? Do you remember the data? 0, 1, 2. I type it into L1. So, I turn on. You see, okay. Going to step. So, the first is added the data. So I was going to add the data. Get a little bit down, okay, and then remember it's zero, right? One, uh, sorry, one and the two, okay. So zero, one, two is for the x, the value of the x. And the probability, the corresponding probability, we put it to the second the column L two, which is uh, how many? So I show you here. So 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, so 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, see, that's all you need. And then what you do, go to step, going to calculation, go right. The first is the, the first choice, one variable steps is what we need. And uh, mine is 83, so remember how to do. Is L1 comma L2, okay? So second uh, 
one, which is L one, and then comma, and then second uh, two, which is uh, L two, okay, and then end. If yours is eighty three, so yours uh, your screen is much easier. Okay, L one is for the access list, L two to put it to the frequency. Your frequency is in L two. Okay, and then what do you do? End. Have we see? Now we get it all together. So first the X bar is the mean, okay? And where's the sigma? This time I don't use S, have you see? S equals nothing, they did not show, okay? So what is sigma is the population. Remember at the beginning I showed you before, right? I showed you before. Sigma is the standard deviation for the population. We call the population standard deviation, okay? Remember these two number X, okay, is one, and I copy that number to here. Okay, what is mu? Mu should be from x bar, right? I put here is one. So what is sigma? What is our sigma? Okay, our sigma is sigma x point seven oh seven around. Okay, so I put the data here so you can see what do we get. So point seven oh seven around. Okay, point seven oh seven around. Okay, so we will get uh, this final results. Okay, I put it here. Let's see. We just get this is one, right? Okay, and I just get this is a point seven oh seven. Okay, of course it's a round. And this get a two, but the questions we have another the variance. How to get the variance? The variance is square of the standard deviation, right? So we're going to again find that the population variance. Okay, so what do we need to do? Seven point point seven oh seven square. Okay, I use my calculator. See, point seven oh seven square. See what do I get? Point seven oh seven square. I get a point point four nine nine eight if I round. Okay, so this is how to do in the calculator. Just one variable statistics. Also, you can compare. See. Is this number and this number the same? Definitely the same. Okay, thank you.